Hello. So, uh, MagnaPen LRS X demo. So they are as good as new with, uh, you know, the resistors and the fuses. Pretty nice. Uh, they look really good. Um, yeah. It's a miracle that they can produce something like this for $800, at least in the US. I mean, here it's like 1700 euro. Now, since the LRS Plus is there, they won't be, but I thought I'll play one tune and uh, show you some measurements I did. Um, overall, I can say they sound pretty good. And I've seen the... Um, Audio science review uh, measurements. Uh, well, it's gated and uh, uses clipboard, very nice. I cannot gate down low, so I'm not gonna gate most of it, just if we're looking at the top end. The rest is partially my room, partially the speaker, or completely my room. I use binaural for the audio. Since I bought mics for the camera, but I don't like them, so I sent them back. So I'm left with the internal mics, which are, well, way better than the old microphones on the G7 Canon camera. I added a small notch. My DSP is gone. And I'll show in the measurement what notch I did, because this is kind of something that ha most magnetons have uh, a abundance of 500 to 800 hertz and that's where their efficiency is measured so keep that in mind so if it's stated 87 it probably is 86 or less at all uh, all our frequencies why is this not working I bought a new lens, by the way, it's a Sigma lens right now, instead of the kit lens. So I enable the recording, like this. Give it a small clap.
Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, anyhow, that's the LRS for you. Um, I showed you the measurements and uh, yeah, main thing is uh, what is interesting to show you maybe if I can. You can hardly see it, but in the middle of the frame here, there's a tuning knob. <clears throat> there's a tuning knob as well. Uh, harder to see. There it is. So here and here. Now in the other panel, and uh, somehow this is nice, somehow I think it might not be a good idea, but there is the tuning, tuning knob, but it's only one. So what MagnaPen does, oh yeah, I should say tie down apparently, but um, is creating different resonances on this panel compared to this panel. And uh, yeah, that was also clear in the measurements I showed you. This one is tuned much higher and has, uh, well, because it's tied down here, so this remaining part has a higher uh, resonance. And because this one is rather close, this creates another resonance that is much higher as well. So in the end, the goal is that both of the panels I'm not sure if it's always the right one that has two uh, tie downs or tuning knobs because that's what I call it because you're tuning something. They're not tie that, tying it down. There is a reason why you tie it down to tune it. So that's why I call it tuning knobs. Um, I'm not sure if it's always the right speaker. It doesn't really matter, but uh, at least the set comes with one with two knobs, one with one knob. and. If you would measure them both together like I did, they shoot like filling gaps, but that's rather hard to measure in a room like this. So it might as well do it. Uh, it, it well, it does a little at least. Uh, so yeah, that's the idea behind it. Now, I'm not sure if that's, yeah, I'd rather have the panels the same, but then again, I mean, it's a, well, it's, it, may, it might be a good solution. I mean, uh, it's all down to price and well, they do sound really good for their price. Uh, what surprises me is the tweeter sound or at least the tweeter itself is doing quite good. The only thing that you maybe noticed by now, or at least I noticed is that also the right speaker tweeter is different from the left one. And that's, that's not a good idea and it might not I don't know why, maybe because of the tuning knob slash tie downs or I got a set that are meant to be together, but somehow this tweeter measures completely different than the other one, which is not cool. The other one measures quite nice and they play pretty low and have a, a really low distortion, but it's not cool to have one tweeter that has a complete different frequency response. In my opinion. Then the uh, terminal on the back, uh, I'm not gonna show it because everyone knows them. I am not bothered by it at all, especially for this price. I don't really don't give a poo. They work as they should and uh, I'll keep my fuses in there. Although I measure it only the tweeter from 150 uh, fuses won't blow. So I'm, I don't know how loud people play this kind of speakers, but I don't think they're meant to play at ear splitting levels. Anyhow, that's it for now. Uh, have a nice weekend. See you later. Bye bye. Greetings from Poos. Stinky. Oh, so they can't slap. She's sleeping so nicely. Mm. See ya. Bye bye.